Hi YouTube and happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a happy holiday season. I know it's been a long time since my last Samsung Q1 Ultra video, but I finally got around to booting this up and installing Windows XP, so I thought I'd just boot it up for you all to show you the built-in programs. I really want to do this because I'm planning to change out the hard drive and store that. I'm not throwing the hard drive away, as well as upgrade the RAM so I can run anti-X Linux on it. But anyway, I, I just want to make sure everyone could see what's built in in Windows XP before I do that. I also was thinking of doing this video with the, um, sorry, with the uh, 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 computer tilted up, but as you can see there's glare and you know, you don't want to see my face, you want to see the computer screen. So I'll go ahead and forget that. As you can see, I just swiped the on switch on the left, and you can see the boot sequence. The Wi-Fi is on, it's powered up. I don't have this plugged in. You can see the Windows XP boot sequence there. Just zoomed in a little for you. That might be a little bit dim. Let's see if I can get a bit closer here. And you're probably happy I got into some action really quick after the recording started to keep all of your attention. This does have standard Windows XP, but I think it works pretty well even, you know, using the um, stylus or, you know, tablet kind of interface. You can use an external keyboard like this. And indeed, I'm planning to use that for when I install NIX Linux because I don't think you can access the BIOS another way. Anyway, so we're getting welcomed here to Windows XP. Hopefully, I'll have enough charge to finish the video. Okay. Oh, there we go. You can see the uh, background. I just wanted to point out some of the programs that were built in. There's some that take advantage of the pen interface. There's some multimedia stuff. I think in the previous video I talked about the user interface and that cute little split keyboard that's not amazing but not horrible either. I have not removed the film yet. Keeping this with the keeping this as original and and um, sealed as possible. Okay, that's still loading up. Again, it's a spinning platter hard drive, so that's, that's going to take a little longer. I'm planning to install a SSD, which I have here. It's a 128 gig um, SSD. Right now, I think it's a 40 gig SSD that this came with. You can see that flickering, flickering disk icon over here. It's still booting up. Okay, there we go. So, I can zoom in a little bit here. Wow, there's a lot of flicker. It must be the refresh rate. I'll zoom back out. So we have just, you know, standard Windows stuff, my computer, recycle bin, Internet Explorer. Uh, something that came with this that, again, it's not a typical Windows XP thing is this AV station. I had wondered, oh, there we go. This screen, screen came up with it. AV station premium. I'll just load that up real quick. I, I'm not able to log into, and I, it's a good thing I'm not logging into wireless networks, as you know you can see from that dialog box, because this has you know very old encryption and doesn't work with WPA2 or maybe it's three now. I just you know I've used WPA2 personal and so on. Uh, we'll get this little McAfee blurb. Um, on the pass. Okay, yeah, remind me later. You won't use that. OmniPass, password management. Oh, that's old. Okay, I do want to exit. Um, let's close this. Yeah, so it has AV station. I guess the idea is, you know, you could play um, DVDs and, and uh, it says VCDs, but, you know, you could play movies that you ripped or transferred onto the hard drive. This has an SD card, so I think you could play things off there. You know, there's a photo option, movie, and music. Um, let's see, is there anything default built in here? Uh, no. But anyway, I'm just showing that's, that's some software that came 
from Samsung, and you wouldn't find that with a typical Windows XP distribution. Uh, let's see, there's Touch Kit. Let's do a couple more things. Yeah, USB controller. Yeah, so this is just controls for the the um, touch screen. General settings tools. Yeah, so you could do do a calibration. It's I think pretty good as is. There's really a lot of features that you can control there. Touch screen utility. Uh, there's Bluetooth built in. So nothing. A voice recorder. Um, see the camera that's going to be kind of cool and I think yeah that is that is a Samsung specific program and I'll go through the menus and just show a little bit more so this should be fun um, come on is that the back one yeah. oh yeah that's the back camera Let's see if I can somehow switch the yeah front camera. There we go. Oh, that is cool. So you can see me in view there. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Close that. Let's see if there are any other programs worth showing you. Yeah, again, typical, typical um, Windows XP things. Uh, yeah, typical games. That's, I think, some kind of audio control. Tablet PC could be interesting. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Um, yeah, there is, you know, a mouse that can go like this, but I'd rather use the stylus, especially for this video. Uh, tablet PC. Oh, Sticky Notes is kind of cool. Uh, Windows Journal, I don't think I've tried, but... Um, so, you know, not a lot of things that are different from, from what you'd expect in, in a Windows XP distribution. Hello, YouTube. And there you go. You can use this as your little digital notebook ruled like those mead yeah that looks college ruled to me it's not wide ruled getting flashbacks to elementary school there okay so i'll just close this and not save no i don't want to save the changes and then i'm going to go to tablet pc tablet pc and sticky notes yeah and i had this one uh, previously the date's obviously wrong for my uh, portables week week entry in retro battle stations. But anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, some of the software that's built in here that's distinct from what you'd find in a typical Windows XP distribution. Just you know, that's that's more suited to a tablet PC, a multimedia device, something like that. But anyway, since I've I've done this now, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the computer. And in my next video, talk about the upgrade I'm, I'm doing to this machine to give it 2 gig of RAM, 128 gig SSD, plus an installation of Anti-X Linux, which is a systemd free 32-bit compatible, 32-bit i386 compatible Linux distribution that is based on Debian. Let's see if we hear that, that, that shutdown tone here. Anyway, so if you have any memories of using Windows XP on this device, leave them in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe as always, and thanks for watching. Have a great one.